What's up guys, it's Sam here again, and today we are talking about how much it costs to live in an RV for a month. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to my over 200 subscribers now. I know it doesn't sound like a ton, but it means a whole lot to me. It means 200 people actually care about the things I say and are actually learning something from my videos. So I seriously appreciate it so much, guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Yeah, so let's go inside and get to this whiteboard and get started. <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to go over are bills. These are things that I've acquired attempting to get onto the road. They include the payments for my truck and my fifth wheel trailer. So the first thing is truck. My truck payment cost me $365. My other monthly payment is my trailer. The monthly cost for my trailer is $169. My last monthly payment is my insurance. My insurance bill comes out to $138 per month. The next thing I wanna cover is living expenses. When you're living on the road, most of these living expenses can be categorized into three major groups, and that is gas, food, and shelter. And remember, this is what I spent in the last 28 days. The first thing is gas. In the last 28 days, I spent $331 on gas. And that is with a move. I moved from Colorado all the way to the desert in Arizona, so pretty long trip. Usually, I don't travel that far, um, so that may be less some months. It may even be more some months if I'm traveling around a lot. The next expense is food. I usually spend about $200 per month on food. That gives me about, about $50 a week. And I find that that covers all of my food expenses. Uh, I don't really go out to eat, so I don't have that expense. I only cook at home and I try to cook as cheaply as possible, utilizing things like crock pots and just batch cooking and buying things in bulk. Lastly, we have shelter. Uh, this month I spent $449 on a campground, and that is all-inclusive electric, electric uh, water, sewer, plus free Wi-Fi. Now this is a figure that's gonna change monthly depending on the campground that you're staying at. Now I usually pay for the monthly rate like this, rather than trying to do weekly or daily and moving around more because I find it saves me a lot of money in the long run, especially because I don't have to pay for these things. Uh, my rig doesn't have solar or uh, any type of clean water system or anything like that, so I really rely on, my, on campgrounds to get, most of my, uh, to get most of my necessities. I use a ton of electricity and I use Wi-Fi all the time uploading videos so it's things that I need. In the future I hope to upgrade my system to solar so I, do, so I can boondock more and utilize free camping places but for now I spend about $450 or $500 a month on campgrounds. So that brings our total monthly cost 
for the last 28 days to 1652 dollars I don't know if you can see that better so there you have it guys those are my monthly expenses the only thing that I didn't add in I didn't add in like big purchases that I make each month I usually make like one quote unquote large purchase each, each month, something like camera gear, uh, spend a hundred dollars or something like that. But it's usually just once a month and that doesn't really have to do with my monthly expenses. So I didn't throw that in. Yours might differ a little bit. You know, you might spend less money on uh, housing, say you might not pay for a campground, you might boondock and spend more money on food. You might go out to eat more than I do. But all in all, that's a general, just a uh, consensus of what I pay each month, like what my solid monthly expected monthly expenses are every single month. All right guys, so I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and just remember guys, get out there and travel. If you, This is the perfect opportunity to do it, no matter how old you are, it's the time is right now. Get out there, be creative, find a new art, a new hobby, and just you know live life to the fullest. So until next time guys, I'll see you later.